Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we factor 4 raised to power x out. That is, we have 4 raised to power x into brackets, 1 plus 1 left inside, then equals to 48 on this side. That is, this becomes 4 raised to power x times 1 plus 1, that's 2 equals to 48 from here. The next step here, divide both side by 2. That is, divide this side by 2. Also, divide this side by 2. And here, 2 cancelled each other. We have 4 raised to power hex left, which is equals to 48 over 2 here. And also here, this same thing as 4 raised to power hex equals to 2 times 24, then over 2, which implies here 2 cancelled each other. And we have 4 raised to power hex equals to 24 on this side. The next step, we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 4 raised to power hex equals to log. 24. Then here we apply the power law of logarithm from when we have log m raised to power p. This same thing as p log m. That is here what we have becomes x log 4 equals to log 24 on this side. That is Next step here, we divide both side by log 4. That is, divide this side by log 4. Also, divide this side by log 4, which implies here, log 4 cancelled each other. And we have x left, which is equals to log 24 over log 4. Then, we can rewrite 24 here as 4 times 6, which implies here we have x equals to log 4 times 6 over log 4. That is, here, this follows the law of log ring. All we have following we are log a times b, which is the same thing as log a plus log b. That is, yeah, this becomes x equals to log 4 plus log 6 over log 4. The next step here, we separate this into two fractions. As we have x equals to log 4 over log 4 plus log 6 over log 4 which implies here we have log 4 comes to each other and one left here and this x equals to 1 plus log 6 over log 4 the next step here also we can write 6 as 2 times 3 which implies we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 times 3 over log 4. That is here. We can also separate this from the law of logarithm. And we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 plus log 3 over log 4. Which implies here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 4 plus log 3 over log 4. That is, here we can write 4 as 2 times 2, which is the same thing as 2 squared. This here this becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 2 squared 
plus log 3 over log 2 squared. Then, here also we apply the power law of log 1. 2 comes here, and also here, and what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 over 2 log 2, then plus log 3 over 2 log 2, which implies here log 2 cancel each other. We are left is 1 over 2, that is x equals to 1 plus 1 over 2, then plus here. We can write this as well as 1 over 2 times log 3 over log 2, which implies here 1 plus 1 over 2, same thing as 1 number 1 over 2, which is same thing as 3 over 2. That is here we have x equals to 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 3 over log 2. And here we apply change of base. From when we have log A over log B, which is same thing as log A to base B. Then what we have becomes x equals to 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 3 base 2. Then we can as well bring this together as one fraction. That is, we have x equals to the SM here is 2. And this is 3 plus log 3 base 2. So here we have the value of x in this problem as 3 plus log 3 base 2 of over 2. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 3 plus log 3 base 2 all over 2. Sorry, this is 2. That is what we have here becomes 4 raised to power 3 plus log 3 base 2 all over 2 then plus also 4 raised to power 3 plus log 3 base 2 all over 2 is it equals to 48 on this side now this here we have same thing added together just like when we have a plus a with the same thing as 2 times a also we can say this is 2 times 4 raised to power 3 plus log 3 base 2 all over 2 is it equals to 48 on this side then next step here we can express 4 as 2 square as is 2 times 2 square which is raised to power 3 plus log 3 base 2 all over 2 is it equals to 48 on this side then here, yeah, this power multiplies and 2 here cancel each other. We have 2 times 2 raised to power 3 plus log 3 base 2 left. This is equals to 48 on this side. Then yeah, here, this follows the law of indices. Now we have a raised to power m plus n. This same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. That is, this becomes 2 times. 2 raised to power 3 and 2 raised to power log 3 base 2 is it equals to 48 on this side. That is, we have 2 times 2 raised to power 3 as 8. Then times f follows on we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. That is, here the same thing as 3 is it equals to 48. On this side, and 2 times 8 as 16 times 3 that gives us 48 and equals to 48 here. That is, the left hand side is equals to the right hand side, and therefore, we conclude that x equals to 3 plus log 3 base 2 or over 2 satisfy this given problem. 
and thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe for more videos and turn the description bell and share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comments see you next time bye for now